in this lesson we are going to learn about faraday's law okay you might be knowing about this you must have learned about this in your junior college or school we are going to review the basic concepts okay that's the most important law that you're going to see in your electrical engineering okay so let's understand what my faraday's law tells me okay let's just say i have a conductor okay this is a conductor which is kept in a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the screen okay so let's just say i have a uniform magnetic field which is going into the screen away from you okay now if this conductor were to be moving let's just say this conductor starts moving in this direction with a velocity of v meter per second okay then you are going to realize that all the particles charge particles that are there in this conductor they are going to experience a force okay what is the force that a charged particle is going to experience it is simply q dot v cross b okay so if you are having a positively charged particle your v cross b would be resulting in a force in upward direction okay so all the positive charge particles they are going to be having a force which is going to push it in this direction okay so all the charge particles basically would tend to accumulate in this end of this conductor okay similarly all the negative charge particles they are going to experience a force which is in the downward direction okay so all the negatively charged particles would tend to accumulate in this region of the conductor okay so what you're going to realize is because of this motion of your conductor in a uniform field you are going to have charges being developed on your conductor such that you have a positive charge on this end and you have a negative charge on this end okay so basically this conductor has developed an emf okay and this emf is known as your induced emf okay so basically if you are going to connect a metallic wire like this you are going to realize that your current starts flowing in this direction okay so that's the concept of your induced emf due to movement of your conductor in magnetic field okay the force that a charged particle experiences given by q into v cross b okay what is v cross b v cross b is simply q into vb sin theta where theta is the angle between your velocity vector and your magnetic field vector okay in our case this angle is 90 degrees okay your v is like this and your magnetic field vector is perpendicular which is into the screen okay away from you so that's 90 degree so in our case my particle which is present in this in this conductor is experiencing a force given by q into v into b okay now a particle which is over here has now come to this point okay so let's just say your length of the conductor is l meters okay so basically your particle has moved l meters in this direction is reached to the other end okay so you must be knowing whenever work is done basically what you have is force and displacement in the direction of force which gives you the magnitude of work done okay so in our case my particle has displaced l meters and the force which is acting on this particle is qvb therefore my work done by this particle is how much my work done by this particle w is 